she will never love you. Around seven years ago or more, I made this video. And I talked about the notion that a lot of men cannot co comprehend or refuse to understand that a woman does not love the same way that a man does. And that's okay. It is okay that women are different from men. It is okay that women are different from us. It is okay that they love differently. But it is not okay that men refuse to comprehend this. You have men who go overseas to the Philippines, go to other countries, and they find themselves what I would define as a good woman. But the thing is, they truly believe that this woman loves them with, their, with her entire heart, and she would never leave them, and that she would never, you know, go and be in a relationship with someone else, and that she is genuinely just super attracted to only them. Now, peer bonding does exist. Peer bonding is real. And the number of men that a woman is physically intimate with definitely does affect her peer bonding. But I'm going to tell you right off the bat, there are so many guys that went out there and they married a woman who, who at least claimed to never be physically intimate with anyone. She was young when they married her. She was in the church. They went through marriage counseling, and they basically did every single thing they were supposed to do. They were told to do. They were very, very careful. They themselves, in many of these cases, had never been physically intimate with any woman either. They had lived a so-called virtuous life. And where are they today? A lot of those guys end up living like scumbags, and they'll sometimes pop up on the channel. And they'll tell you that I was one of those guys who did everything right, as they like to call it. They went and married a woman out of the church. And guess, you know, and she was uh, she was someone who was not physically intimate with anyone when they married her. And she, you know, it was it was every, every it was basically this, you know, Brady Bunch marriage. And what ended up happening? She basically began to create chaos in the marriage when one day said she wanted to leave and that was it. Or rather saying that she was going to leave or they were just served divorce papers and that was the end of that. And a lot of dudes cannot comprehend that she will never love you. She, will, she can love certain things about you. She can love what you can do for her. You know, she can like things that you have, but she will never love you in the way that a man loves a woman. A man loves a woman for who she is. He accepts her at her best. He accepts her at her worst. He accepts her for who she is as a person. He accepts her character, even her annoying traits. What a lot of women do is if there's just one thing they don't like, they won't accept you as a plan B guy. You heard me right. Plan B guy, not plan A. You see, the guys, the guys that she actually loves right? As, as, as close to love as you can get, those guys, the Chads and the Tyrones, those guys, there are no conditions. Because those guys, she is genuinely physically attracted to. Okay? She is attracted to the way they look. She's attracted to their behavior. So those guys can pretty much, you know, break all the rules. They, they can have horrible personalities. They can have miss these. They don't have to have any of those tr traits that the plan B guys have to have. No, no, no. That does not apply to these guys. Men go overseas. They find a nice wife. She seems wonderful. And, you know, they're together for 25 years. And after 25 years, the marriage comes to an end. She starts, she basically just starts creating chaos in the marriage. And the guy says, like, he didn't see it coming. And that's it. And, of course, there is, everyone's going to say, well, there are two roles, you know, be, you know, there are, two, there are two sides of every story. What did you do? What did you do? What did he do? How many women get married? And after 20 years of marriage, 25 years of marriage, they're back out in the streets. And they're out there having relationships with young guys, guys in their 20s. You have, it, the cougar thing is huge these days, where you have a lot of older women who are being physically intimate with these young men, and they're having their fun. You know, they were married for a long time, 
They're back out in the streets, leave their husbands, have their husbands on alimony, child support. They're back out in the streets. They're having the time of their lives, getting their backs blown out. And then they want to go and find a, another plan B guy that's going to take care of them and provide for them in their 40s. And if this guy says that he's looking for someone who can you know, give him children, they'll call him delusional. They'll say to him, you're 45, I'm 45, you're 45, or you're 50. How dare you want someone who can give you children? You're an old man. I mean, I'm not an old woman, but you're an old man. You need to act your age and be more responsible and go for and date women who are your own age. Now, keep in mind, all of these, these same women, when they were younger, they were all dating older men. A lot of these exact same women even married older men. So you can have a woman who is 45 years old. Her husband is 60. That's the guy that she left. Her ex is 60. And now she's demanding that men who are in their four that who are 40 and 50 basically adjust to her and only date women her age, even though she was dating older men when she was younger, when she was in her 20s. And she ultimately ended up marrying an older man, which is usually what happens. Guys, I've told you before many times, these people do not like us. They genuinely don't like us. They even they resent the fact that they need us. Men have to wake up and realize that feminism did not take advantage of women. Women took advantage of feminism because feminism exists within every woman. It is a seed that is there at the time of birth. And some guys will go, I don't agree with you. Okay, I don't care if you agree with me or not. And that's the reason why we need the black pill, black pill 2.0. That's a, you know, scrub off all that I-N-C-E-L, you know, garbage about nihilism because, you know, and then instead focus on the truths that are are not going to change where the red pill tells you, oh, if you do all of these different things right, you can have whatever you want and you can find the woman who's going to love you. You're right. And it's going to cherish you. No, no, no. When you go to black pill, you accept that women do not love the same way that a man loves okay it's it's more it's an evolution it's the next stage it's the next because the world does not exist in black and white the the world exists in shades of gray you know and i would say that the gray pill is really the black pill black pill 2.0 where it, it's where you're looking at things from a critical lens and realizing that there are some things you just won't be able to change and truths that you simply have to accept, even no matter how dark they are. Many people who know me, they know that I went through the red pill rage for many, many years, many, many years. And my red, my, my red pill rage, it was terrible. It was terrible, absolutely terrible. Like, if you hear some of my older videos from, from 10 years ago, roughly around 10 years ago, bro, and those of you that have been with, with me a long time, there's some real anger in there. The way that I talk now, the way I sound now, this is not how I used to sound. You know, a lot of my videos were much, much different. I was more furious. And a lot of guys cannot accept the truths about the world. They cannot accept the realities of the world. You know? Chad's, Tyrone's, Stacy's. These are real people. Little Poncho is a very real person. You know? I talk about Little Poncho because Little Poncho is, Little Poncho is in demand. And, you know, we learn from one another in the, in the manosphere. I was saying when little Poncho wants to skip out on child support, he leaves the country. You know, MK Fitness, who's been on the channel a number of times, he said little Poncho doesn't leave the country. Little Poncho goes down to the local flea market, gets himself a new ID, 
a new social security number, and he's back in business. And he's done this many of times. Men have to wake up and realize that women love differently. And she will never love you the way that you love her. Guys, don't forget I have a channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. You can find out. You can find a link to that channel in the description of the video. Go check the channel out. Support my work. And there's another channel that I have called Men Walking Away. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel and you want to see more videos like this video, you can head over to the Men Walking Away channel where I release more content similar to the content, just like the content on this channel. So if you want even more content like this, go over to Men Walking Away, subscribe to that channel, support my work. There's a link to that in the description of the video, to that channel in the description of the video, as well as a link to the Angry Guy channel in the, Angry Guy channel in the description of the video. What do you guys think regarding all of this? She will never love you. She will never love you in the way that you love her. Okay? Women cannot empathize for men the way that men empathize for women. It's just not possible. They are not wired that way. A woman can empathize for another woman, but there's but there's a psychological there is a psychological difference when a woman looks at a man. They view us differently, just like society views us differently. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, and walking away, and cheers.